So today I was just browsing around Google for some data and came across some random stuff and decided to mess around with it a little bit because uh, it's fun. So today I've got two ratios here. I've got one in the blue and one in the red or orange, whatever color you think it is. And I've got uh, data spanning about, I think it's like 140 years. It actually went back another 200 years, like all the way back to like 1500 or something like that. But, I mean, it looked very similar, so I just kind of narrowed it down. Otherwise, the chart would have been, you know, six screens across. <laughs> it's just been too big to even look at. So, uh, as you can see, you know, if you look at, you know, these dips and, and peaks and troughs here, uh, these two ratios are fairly in sync. And it seems like, you know, it'd be a good time to get into whatever these items are representing, you know, when both of these charts start going in the same direction. Otherwise, you, uh, you know, you're getting fooled. So you're kind of like crossing, you know, as these charts crisscross each other. It's kind of like, it's almost like moving averages, sort of. But, you know, to to not with, uh, you know, to not withhold the drama here and try to <laughs> let you guys know what these two lines are. Probably not what you think they are, or anywhere near close to what you think they might be. Um, so these two lines, if I scroll over here to the right and have my little legend in the corner, and of course my screen doesn't go over <laughs> far enough, I have to like move this thing over here. And maybe that fits. <laughs> We've got the barley to beer ratio and the bean to beer ratio. Now, I forget what the actual uh, terms are. I think I think the barley to beer ratio is one bushel of barley to one gallon of beer. Uh, I don't know what the bean one is. I think it's something similar. I might have, I might have gotten that mixed up, but it's, it doesn't. It's irrelevant. Basically, you divide the two numbers by, for, through it from each other, and then you get this. Uh, you get you know get this ratio of you know somewhere between three and seven, and it spans. I mean, this goes all the way back to like fifteen hundred, and this is actually in England is the actual data. So I think the the dollar or not the dollar, but the currency denominations is is in pence. <laughs> so it's like pences for. Uh, the, the barley, beer, and beans. <laughs> now, the reason I, I put this in here is because I, I figured there would be a couple things that would uh, stand out to me, at least looking at this data. Um, if it's, you know, if it's, uh, if, you, if you are able to sell uh, beer at a high price in exchange for a lot of barley, i.e. your, you know, six and a half bushels per gallon of beer as opposed to only getting three and a half you know bushels per gallon of beer then you would want to start and open up a bar <laughs> like right here before this this rise in in your inventory because you're gonna have all this inventory of barley and, and beer and it's gonna just increase in value while it sits there in your bar <laughs> yeah, so so you would open up the bar down here, and then when it gets up here, you sell the bar to uh, you know some other investor that isn't looking at the barley to beer ratio. <laughs> so then the reason I put the bean to beer ratio in here is as you can see that these uh, two ratios go uh, hand in hand. So uh, if you are going to open up a, a bar or a brewery. Uh, you might as well open up a Mexican one and throw in some beans and enchiladas and uh, you know stuff like that. So <laughs> you have a Mexican uh, Mexican food and it's uh, it's also a brewery. <laughs> these are these these two items are in lockstep. So you'll have a, a giant inventory full of beer and a giant inventory full of beans and uh, you know as as the what three four years go by. Your your inventory, you know, your price of profits and everything practically doubles, and then you sell the business for twice what 
uh, it's worth. Because then three years later, it's not worth anything. <laughs> and collapses and blah, 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 blah. Now, another thing that I wanted to bring up, uh, I should have actually made it a ratio and put it on here. But if everybody is, uh, you know, if, if a lot of beer and a lot of beans uh, are being sold, um, you would have a you would have a fart ratio, I guess is what it would be. So, so I was trying to figure out. Yeah, so probably up here there'd be more and more. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out whether it'd be less bars up here or more bars. So I'll leave that question to you guys. <laughs> Do you think? Because, you know, when you eat, uh, drink beer and eat beans, it makes you fart a lot. So, would, would the economy be filled with lots of farts when the barley to beer and bean to beer ratio is very high or very low? I would think it would be when it's high. Because... When there's more profits to be made, there would be more bars and more people selling beans, which would then drive down prices. It's so probably in the wake, probably in the wake of it all, because there's going to be all these restaurants right here selling at ever so cheaper prices. So this area here would just be a big cloud of bean and beer farts I think <laughs> all right well I brought this up because you know you could compare anything like this and kind of come up with stuff like Mike Maloney does and all this stuff so comment below where are where is the giant uh, where is the bubble of bean and beer farts do you think it's at the peak here or after the after the wake <laughs>